Hello and welcome to the Globe of Science and Innovation for this first Spotlight on CERN, just a few weeks before the restart of the LHC machine. Today our guest is Mike Lamont, who is Head of Operations Group for the Accelerator Beams. This weekend, protons were injected into the LHC for the first time since September 2008. But before we talk about that, let's go back a few weeks to the previous stage, which involved testing the transfer lines of the injection tunnels TI2-TI8. Our video team was there to film this operation. Because over the whole weekend, we had protons uh, delivered from the SPS to the transfer line. It was a very productive weekend. We had really protons available the whole weekend long, and we could do many measurements, both in TI2 and TI8, the two transfer lines delivering the beam to the LHC. So we sent the proton all the way down these transfer lines. They're knocking down at the door of the uh, LHC. They're ready. You know, we checked all the, the important beam parameters uh, that are required in order to provide a perfect injection into the uh, LHC. Uh, we had the trajectory uh, well under control now. They're, they're very well tuned, both for TI2 and TI8. And we'll uh, alternatively send these protons to TI2 and TI8. So uh, we're really ready and we are uh, eagerly waiting for the LHC to take uh, this beam. Doing the same thing since this morning, the operation uh, uh, has worked very hard in order to have this uh, ion beam ready. And since this morning, we have for the first time extracted the ion beam from the SPS into the TI2 transfer line. We checked the trajectory. The trajectory seems very close to the one we had uh, for the proton beam line, so this is very encouraging. We have put the screens in now. We are checking the profile of the uh, of the bunch of the iron bunch that is uh, sent in the line, and uh, it, it looks very good as well. So uh, we're going to switch to the other transfer line to TI8 and uh, monitor as well the trajectory, the beam parameters, and then we'll do it, you know, alternatively from one line to the next one. So Mike, now that we've seen these images, can you remind us how important these tests are and what they actually involve? The transfer line test we've just seen. Mm -hmm. Okay, these, these bring the beam down to the front door of the LHC and it's very important the, the protons arrive there at the right, exactly the right place, exactly the right time in, with the right size. So the, the team there you saw were carefully monitoring and adjusting the parameters to make sure that that was the case. Okay. And before the particles get to the LHC, they have to travel through a complex chain of accelerators from the hydrogen bottles to the SPS and via the boosters. Um, could this complexity become an Achilles heel in years to come, do you think? We are certainly relying on the whole accelerator complex to deliver the protons to the, to the LHC. And we're looking for very high availability from, from that injector complex. It's, but these guys have been running for some of them for 50 years now, so they're well tuned, well understood. Um, one could say well maintained, but they're well looked after, and we've got confidence that they can do what's needed. Okay. And during the weekend of the 26th September, the beams got right to the threshold of the LHC. On the 3rd and 4th of December, CERN will be celebrating the 20th anniversary of LEP and the 50th anniversary of the PS. How reliable are these old accelerators? Given their age, they're remar remarkably reliable. We're, we're talking about 90% uptime. Right. Um, but this is, is like a duck swimming on water. The feet are f furiously paddling underneath. And um, there's a lot of hard work, a lot of, a lot of teams out there making sure an awful lot of equipment is, is, is fully functioning all the time. So this is from RF, power converters, magnets, vacuum. And it really takes a lot of babysitting to, to get that sort of level of performance. Okay. Thank you, Mike. This weekend, from the 23rd to the 25th of October, the video team filmed the injection of protons into the LHC. Let's see how they got on. Down the top We're in the final stages of preparing for the injection. We've done it before, so we know we can do it again. Everything's green on the cryo uh, on the cryo screen, so we're okay at the moment. <laughs> Switch off the kickers. Kickers off. Yeah. 
all on the TDI. Uh, what we have done up to now is uh, circulating uh, ions from point 0.2 up to point 0.3. Uh, it was a, success, a successful uh, exercise. Uh, and it is uh, indeed the first time that uh, particles are seen in the LHC this year. Going from point 0.2 to point 0.3 and then continuing, the next sector we find is sector 3.4. The one where we had the incident last year and it is the last sector to, uh, that is uh, coming in terms of preparation and hardware commissioning. And in fact sector 3.4 will be available only in terms of first test to be done. Uh, uh, probably mm, uh, already mid uh, next week. So we couldn't go further because the sector before is not ready. On the other side as well, uh, go injecting from point 0.8 and circulating to point 0.7, the next sector that, uh, that we'll, uh, we find is sector 6-7, which is not yet ready. Uh, now to complete the hardware commissioning of the, well, for, the, for the entire machine, we are now at uh, more than half, half percent in terms of uh, percentage preparation of the machine. We have four sectors that are already in a very good uh, stage of, uh, of preparation, of good advancement. And uh, seven, eight, sector 7-8 uh, is the first sector which is fully commissioned for the operation at 1.1 uh, TV or 2 kiloamps in the, in the main circuits.